Hi everyone, it's Paula. Welcome back to Trapani's Tech Tips for Teachers, where my goal is to help make teachers' lives a little easier. Hi, uh, today's tip is incredibly useful. I'm going to show you how you can translate any web page to any language of your choice. Um, the process involves two steps, but the first step only needs to occur once the first time you actually um, install the Chrome extension. So step one is to go to um, the Google Chrome web store and the website is right here, Chrome dot google dot com slash web store. Once you're here, you can search for any uh, Chrome extension if you happen to know the name of it. In this case, you do. Uh, just as a side note, extensions are really small programs that get attached to Google Chrome. And the purpose is to enhance the features of Google Chrome in some way. So if you ever get uh, lost in the Chrome Web Store, you'll see that there are hundreds and hundreds of extensions that may or may not apply to you and your needs, but um, you know, you may come across a couple that you'll think, wow, you know, that's something I can use in the future. And of course, Google Translate is one that, you know, really any any teacher or parent can use. You may have an experience where, you know, you need to see something in another language or it's already in another language and you want to translate it into your own language. Um, either way, Google Translate is definitely an extension that you want to consider installing into your Chrome web browser. So. We're back to Chrome Web Store, and in the search bar, I typed the name. I happen to know that this extension is simply called Google Translate, so I'm just going to hit Enter. And what you'll see is, you know, a little description. This is the icon. It's showing you what the shortcut will look like when you actually install it, and it gives you a brief description. For me, my blue button off to the right here says Rate It. And it says that because I have already installed the Google Translate shortcut. There it is. If I had not translated it, I would see the blue button that says Add to Chrome. And you simply click Add to Chrome, and it gets um, added in this area here. You can see I have a million extensions. You probably won't have that many, but everybody has your little icon to show that you have signed in to Chrome and the, the uh, URL uh, bar where you would type in the name of a website. For most people, this website bar is much longer and maybe the few extensions that you've installed live over here and your icon is always in that upper right corner right next to the three dots, which we'll use in the next step. Um, so Google Translate gets added as a shortcut and once it's there, then you can visit any website and I'd like to show you how you can actually implement this extension. So I'm going to show you a website that I think is quite valuable for us here in Uniondale, which is a website um, I, where I curated all of the resources that we librarians and teachers had been um, collecting, especially since this uh, distance learning you know, period had begun. And if you look, uh, here's the homepage. It's a pretty long website. I apologize for that. But once you, it's linked on all of our uh, home pages, so you can access it there or simply ask your librarian for the link. And what you'll find are uh, really useful links on the left hand side, especially for teachers, but many are specifically for students and parents. Um, and the one that I think is most useful for all of us is this one right here cheat sheets and video tutorials. Um, if you click on that, you'll see that as you scroll down, um, each of these is either a document or a video um, showing you how to do something that may help you, right? So if you wanted to learn how to do something with Google Classroom, definitely look for this yellow folder with Google Classroom and scroll down the list and you'll see videos such as getting started with Google Classroom for students and parents part one. You know, that might be a video you want to tune into and you can click view and watch it at your leisure. Um, so let's just go back to the homepage so you can see the translation happen live and in person. Here we are, there's just a little bit of text here, but it happens to be in English. That's the language that I created the website in. Um, now, since I have my Google Translate extension available to me, I can click the button and choose Translate This Page. I'm gonna click it, 
And what happens is a new bar shows up right here and it says it's currently translated to English. But if you see there's this little drop down arrow, I can click that and switch it to any language that Google has available to us. So, you know, in our district, obviously, you know, Spanish is a popular one. Um, Creole is another, there's, there was a Haitian, uh, Haitian Creole is right here. Um, you know, any language you could think of. So I'm going to choose Spanish just so you can see a translation happening live and in person. We'll click Spanish and here we are. Now the little bit of text that I had on this homepage has been translated to that language. Um, you know, if you needed to go back and put it back in the original, you can either click show original or drop down again and put it to English. So you can toggle back and forth with this translate option um, really for any site. So hopefully this is helpful. When I created this site, I did add a link um, where we were starting to collect a few resources that were already translated to Spanish. And there are a few here, um, but you might find, like I said, these cheat sheets or this page for students and families has some other information on there that you'd like to translate. And now once you get this Google Chrome extension called uh, Google Translate, anything, any website you go to um, is available for translation just by the click of a button. I hope this was helpful. Uh, please feel free to reach out to me or any of the librarians if you have any questions on this in the future. Thanks so much for watching. If you found today's tip useful, like, comment, or share. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss a thing. If you have any questions, comments, or requests, you know where to find me.